like to have those things, and those aircrafts get parked there, close to the hangar, and they stay for about four or five days. They are not part of your schedule. Thank you. Thanks, Anji. Thank you very much. Myself, G.S. Bhava, good evening, everybody. Uh, I had been moving through different phases. I am not, not representing here airport operator. I am not representing the regulator, though I have been working all the positions. Uh, I feel that everybody in the hall is a passenger first, then airport operator, and then uh, anybody else. So I am here to address the issue of passengers. I represent the Air Travel Association. Uh, with me is the President of Air Travel Association, Mr. Stender Singh and Mr. Thomas Andrew, who is on our executive body, myself, G.S. Baba. <coughs> so we have interest in this airport because this is a new airport, full of glamour, and luxury and glamour doesn't come free. So there must be some element of a cost, additional cost to passengers, or uh, optimum cost to passengers, that is our concern. And what are the strategies, what are the methodology? You are keeping in mind that you get more and more airlines, you can get more and more passengers, so that the stress on us poor passengers is not very high. So that is one aspect. And second aspect is the traffic potential you have mentioned, you assessed very well. I'm sure you've got uh, traffic, uh, you've got good experts on traffic hand. And traffic uh, coming so healthy, so well, was that you there was some lack of traffic assessment or you had kept some good provisions for that? What is the reason that, uh, because it has been COVID, the traffic should have been much slower. So maybe some, some reason you would have identified and some uh, reply to that. And with your permission, if I hand over the floor to President Sir, if you want to say something for that. Thanks. Thank you very much for inviting us. Uh, we represent uh, Air Traffic, uh, Air, Air Travelers Association. This was founded uh, in some time 2013. That means it is about 10 years. As a matter of fact, more than 10 years. Uh, old and we represent uh, the interest of the air travelers. Uh, basic, it is a non-profit organization, and we work for along with all the agencies to ensure that uh, the difficulties of the passengers or grievances of the passengers, to be more uh, accurately, are uh, addressed uh, in this. Uh, as Mr. Bawa said, we would like to know what is the strategy for uh, of NIA to look into the um, passengers' grievances or their facilities, or how can would there be any taxations on that? You know, you would be probably charging UDF, and uh, then is there some part? that uh, you are going to go ahead with charging of ADF also along with it, that is advanced uh, taxes. And uh, of course, uh, how the viability of this uh, would function. Finally, uh, our uh, understanding uh, of ATA is that whether it is airports or airlines or anyone, the things get passed on to the passengers or the air travel. So what is the strategy that you might be adopting, of course, uh, uh, issues like uh, MROs or uh, issues like uh, cargo part of it, uh, along with it, to make the airport more vi uh, viable, of course, and so that the passengers are not uh, you know, <laughs> not <laughs> the, the, uh, so that the passengers are not uh, would, uh, are not required to pay extra. That, and I have some uh, yes, along sir. with me, uh, Mr. Uh, Thomas Sundaram, 
he has some of the issues you may take it no, no I problem i i think both of them have already ex uh, explained uh, the issues related to the passenger the passenger is the king ultimately the idea is uh, you are now going to operate with a well established airport at ig airport and where your uh, competitor is uh, highly placed and the capacity is already uh, added with the fourth runway and also the cross uh, elevated taxiway etc how you are going to match the tariffs with reference to ig airport and how that burden is not passed on to passengers that is what the interest uh, from our uh, point of view Uh, just to close, uh, my purpose was not to make the hall very serious. Uh, we are very, we are very happy with the um, coming up of the airport is so well, and it is uh, it is in very safe hands, and that's why we are very happy with that. And we would like that we join with you in the early stage, and this is a very good step that you have invited people and you invited us, and this is the first step towards transparency, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And um, you know, I know that all of us have enjoyed listening uh, to your questions. And your questions actually are targeted at each one of us, because every one of us, at some point, whether we are airport developers or not, actually we're all passengers, right? So, um, what I would like to bring out here, um, if there is one thing um, I have learned um, in my journey here with the Zurich Airport Group, is the uh, commitment to absolute transparency. So, what you see here, the numbers that we two have shared, what Jan has shared, what I have shared is 100% absolutely transparent. Um, there was a word